day five. I woke up feeling so good. I basically started cleaning and mopping and sweeping and all sorts of stuff. I just, I kind of realized that the place is dirty. So when you're super clean and your insides are super clean, you want everything outside to be super clean. So I just got into cleaning mode and uh, I'm using uh, some, some scrub and bubbles and some green works. This stuff's not that bad, but I don't want to be breathing it in. I don't want to get it on me. So wearing all this. Anyways, I'm going to keep cleaning because I'm feeling really good and I have a lot of energy. So why not put it to good use? Anyways, uh, yeah, gonna get through this. Check in throughout the day. It's a Friday. Not going out drinking tonight. No, nope, not gonna do it. I got a show tomorrow night and uh, just gonna see if they'll let me bring in my lemonade. And if not, then gonna have to keep it out in the car and keep making trips out there and basically run out of it. And pray to God I don't faint on stage, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Here's to open. All right, gonna get cleaning. I'll see you guys in a little bit. This is a very, very important part of the master cleanse. The type of toilet paper that you own. This is the best. Cottonelle with aloe and vitamin E. This stuff is so soft. But uh, by, by day five, which is today and day six, uh, you're gonna be wishing that you had really good, soft, toilet paper. I highly recommend this stuff. <laughs> so, this is 5 p.m. on day 5. That means I'm 117 hours without solid food. Uh, I still feel good. Um, I'm just, it's weird. I'm starting to get hungry again. I'm starting to have weird cravings again. So, again, always occupy yourself with, uh, with something. And for me, it's Netflix. Uh, and I have discovered to be in Apartment 23, which is amazing. Definitely keeping my mind occupied. So, always keep your mind occupied. Hungry. Day five. And I'm hungry. Uh, it doesn't just get like super easy after day four, day five. It just gets easier. Um, and I am heavily reminded of that today. <laughs> I uh, was craving salad and soup last night. And I woke up this morning and I just wanted eggs. I just really wanted some scrambled eggs. Um, but uh, yeah, that craving went away once I had my drink. And um, those oxy pills are again are super awesome. So the second you wake up and all that stuff comes out of you, you feel so much better and the cravings stop. Um, and then the drinks throughout the day, um, I'm really hungry again and I and I'm craving Indian food. No idea why. I'm just craving Indian food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go take a tablespoon of just the maple syrup, just a pure tablespoon of maple syrup. And you can do that throughout the cleanse. Like if you feel like you're really, really hungry um, and your body is just telling you that it's starving and it just needs more, you can go take a tablespoon of the of the syrup. Um, well, you know, it doesn't have to be in the lemonade. So uh, that's what I'm gonna go do and I'm gonna see if that helps. And uh, I'll check back with you guys later. Here's a weird craving. I'm craving Lucky Charms and Cookie Crisp. Cereal. I'm craving cereal. I think it's been a year and a half to two years since I've had a bowl of cereal. And longer than that since I've had a bowl of really bad cereal. Like GMO nasty cereal. But... That's the weird craving I'm having right now. I really want some mother effing Lucky Charms and some Cookie Crisp and some Captain Crunch. It doesn't help naming them because then it just makes me salivate and I want even more. But yeah, you get some weird cravings whenever you cleanse. And it's, it's mostly what your intestines are cleaning out is what you start craving. So maybe I got some old Lucky Charms up in there still. I don't know. Going to bed at 10 o'clock on a Friday night. That's what happens when you, uh, when you cleanse. 
Let's see what day six feels like. I'll uh, talk to you guys manana.